touching study of the life and times of the watchmaker, the late Clifford Bowler, in Working Parts. Hello. Could you repair this very old watch, which belonged to my uh, husband's great grandfather? I'll have a look at it for you. Thank you. Have you any idea how old it is? It comes back about 1890, this one. 1890? Mm. Oh. Right, your name is? Old. O-L-D. Right. What else did you see? No, that's no, fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's yes, right. thank you. Well, I'll see you next Friday. Lovely. Right. Thank you that's very much beautiful. indeed. That's smashing. Good. It was new Lovely. key and cleaning. New key and cleaning. Yeah. Smashing, thank right you. Out. Lovely. Bye. I took a watch break in about 1919. I left the army. I lived in Manchester at that time. My father had a friend who was interested in repairs, I don't know. And he taught me the trade. After that, I got a job in a jeweller shop in Manchester. One day, when it was payday, the proprietor of the shop came round to me and he said, I'll have to reduce your money 10 shillings a week now after today. However, I had a brother who lived in London now. And I asked him if he would put me a small advert in a London paper for a small watchmaker's business. Well, in those days, they had a classified column in the old watchmaker's chronicle. Well, the person who owned this present shop, 54 Mill Lane, replied to it. It was a hundred pound goodwill that was including tools and things like that. I said yes. Have you got anything that looks almost exactly the same as that? The strap? Yeah, just the strap. There's a crop in there, isn't it? How much are they? £2.50. Mm. Are they the same? Are they leather? In the old leather. Oh, great. Could you put one on for I me? I will. I can leave it with you if you like. All right, then. Uh, uh, okay, look, there's the box. That, right. That's the thing that was on it, but this wasn't the original thing. So you put a new what strap you on. A, what do you want, brown, black? Black. black. Yeah, like that one. That, like the one that's on. This one here. Oh, they're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. Are they? That's black. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll put that on for you. Fine. I'll come back later if you like. Later. Okay, when? Yeah. When would you like me to come back? About an hour's time, I suppose. That's super. Lovely. Thank you very much, then. Right here, then. That's okay. Oh, do you want my name? Do you want to... Well, you come yourself, won't you? Yeah. Okay, oh, then. Don't lose it. No, no, do that. Oh, bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, that is a photograph of my father and sister. They did a stage act between them and they had the, the camp, they had the campfire and they used to play the music to it. They used to call themselves the Boldens. It was just a stage act. They did that for many years. They used to teach the banjo, the banjo, mandolin and guitar. Oh, he performed in the old Palladian minstrels. I was married in um, September 1930. I had two children, John and Norman Bowler. He got very interested in the theatrical work and acting, and he bought himself a recorder. And he had a, an upstairs attic on his own, his own room and everything. And he used to practice with this recorder, throwing the voice back and all that sort of thing. And that is how he proceeded. And he got these jobs, you know, in different parts. Several times on the BBC, he doesn't seem interested in carrying the business on. He just, there you go, closed down and that's the end. Uh, you, you come here when? 1920 or 1930? 1923, yeah. Did you? And you've been happy ever since, have you? Because you're a very old customer of mine, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Well, I always liked Hitler, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah, very old. It's amazing. No, I've had customers here 40 and 50 years now, because they always follow me first to see if I'm still here. People who are interested, they went to school in this area, although they have no repairs for me. They come here out of interest to see how many of the old shops are left. And I'm about the only original one left now. I should imagine, I mean, there's 90% of the population got in that battery watches today, yeah? Still, there's plenty of repair work in the old clocks. And people will, a lot of them, will stick to the old mechanical watch. Oh, I have great regrets, yes. I mean, all the knowledge that I've obtained and learned during well, it's 60 years, I've, over 60 years I've been here. It all comes to nothing. I can't pass my knowledge on, which I'd like to. That seems a big shame, but... Uh, there's government training centres for boys today to go to. What's 
the secret of your longevity? <laughs> no, I don't, I suppose. A contented mind, in regular habits. I don't use up a lot of energy. I'm sitting down all day, and I don't wear myself out. It's a contented mind, I should think. <laughs>